to talk about uh, blueprint abbreviations, plumbing blueprint abbreviations. Blueprints require abbreviations just to save space on a blueprint, if nothing else. There are hundreds of short forms of abbreviations used in blueprints, and every trade has their own, just like electrical, carpentry, gas, etc. Here's some examples. A CO refers to a clean-out. A clean-out is a, a, a fitting in a drain line that's used for snaking out drains, clearing blockages, if you will, and uh, for inspection, camera inspection. And camera inspections, they can find defaults, breaks in the pipe, separations, anything like that. DF stands for drinking fountain. DWV stands for drains, waste, and vents. Uh, CXC stands for copper by copper. BS is a building sewer, sometimes shown as just an S. BD is the building drain. BT is the bathtub. CW is cold water, which is sometimes just shown as a W. HW is uh, the hot water. And HWH is hot water heater. Okay, so do you see a pattern? Quite often it is uh, simply the first letters or the first and second letters that are used. Remember on your blueprint, there's usually a drawing to go with the abbreviation. So the two sometimes are together. So that's, you know, sometimes it makes it easier to identify, but it's not always as it seems. PLG or PLMG are often used for plumbing blueprints. SHR or SHWR are used to identify shower. So you see they're not necessarily using the first letter or the first two, which would be S or SH. They go SHR, SHWR. WH represents water heater, but it also represents a wall hydrant. WM represents a washing machine. It also represents the water meter. So these are examples where you would have to have the abbreviation with the symbol uh, just to clarify exactly what it is the blueprint is dealing with. L or LGTH are often used for length. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, small condensed version of a blueprint and it shows a couple of washrooms in it. So can you find and identify the lavatories? Lavatories are just your basic uh, wall hung sink that you would find in a public washroom, kitchen wash, or sorry, a restaurant washroom, or any houses in Toronto, throughout Toronto, they still have these. So we have two of them here. Here's one, the symbol and the abbreviation. Again, the symbol and the abbreviation. So we have two labs. Can you see the, the uh, WC? WCs stand for water closets, okay, which is a toilet. So how many toilets do we see here? Well, we have one here with its abbreviation WC. We have another one here with its abbreviation WC. So we have two toilets. And how about the urinal? Can you find a urinal? Well, we have a urinal up here. There's the symbol and there's UR, the abbreviation for the urinal. What about the urinal drain size? Well, here it is. Here's the urinal drain. And this little note up here says inch and a half drain. How about clean house? Well, clean house we know are for accessing the drain for camera work and drain work. And we got a couple clean house right here. The building drain? Well, in this case, the building drain is represented by an S. Now, it looks like uh, a five almost, but all along here, you see all these S's? So that's uh, representing the building drain. All the way out here, which is the main drain that carries away all the sewage from the washrooms. So here, it's indicated with an S even gives you the size of it, four inch. 
So there are also other sizes uh, for this blueprinting. If we take a look, we can see the size of the vents, two inch vent, inch and a half vent. Here we have an inch and a half drain line right in here for both of the basins, both of the lavatories. Uh, inch and a half vent here. We have a three inch WC toilet drain with a two inch vent. And then again, it gets into the size of the main drains being four inches each. Okay, so can you identify which of these washrooms is the men's washroom? We have two washrooms, right? We have one at the top, uh, top right, and we have another washroom down here. Which is the men's washroom? So let's blow it up, take a look at things here. Again, we have two washrooms, this one here, which is this and this one up here which is this one down here so take a look at these two washrooms can you identify the, men, the men's washroom from this alone that's the men's washroom the men's washroom is the always the one with the urinal so right there so we know that this is the men's washroom and this is the women's washroom Here's another piece of information you might find on a blueprint. A separate information box in the corner or, or an open area of a blueprint giving detailed instructions. Here they want a pipe sleeve installed for every vent terminal through a roof. Okay, so this is uh, this box could have any information in it, right? And uh, electric, electrical blueprints, HVAC blueprints, plumbing blueprints, whatever the case is, they may or may not have a box like this just giving little detailed specifications for something that needs to be dealt with so here's another item you may find in a separate box within a blueprint some kind of a mechanical note i realize that this is hard to read but it gives uh, details to certain aspects of the work that has to be done uh, for our sake, if we just look down here, for instance, number 12, drain piping to be scheduled 40 PVC piping, uh, DWV. It also uh, shows us uh, number 13, supply piping to be PEX. Um, so we even talked about DWV earlier in the very first slide. It stands for drains, wastes, and vents. So here's another place you may see an abbreviation pop up. Okay, so here's a blueprint of an office and it's plumbing. Notice there's no drain line shown. So that would be on a separate blueprint. Notice here the cold water line is shown with the abbreviation W. Also, we can see it is half an inch in size and three quarters of the main supply. So here's our main supply coming in. It's labeled three quarter inch uh, cold water to the office. Comes in through here stops there so this is all three quarter inch uh, plumbing and uh, sorry the half inch lines are shown here okay and we have a half inch line here also so if we notice here the hot water line is shown with an hw that's the abbreviation that's used on this blueprint do you see the cold water line feeding the hot water tank? So you would follow it in from the main, the three quarter inch line. That's the cold water line feeding the hot water tank. And do you see the hot water tank? That's it right there. So this blueprint shows a staff washroom which is right here. The door is here. The door opens up into the staff washroom. And it also shows a kitchen, um, kind of like a kitchen, little cafeteria eating area for employees right there. Okay. 
So that's pretty much it for uh, Blueprint Symbols and Blueprint Abbreviations. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time.